guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today we're filming for the week of July 22nd to the 28th, which is the last full week in the Erin Condren before it goes into like July, August week. And I am using this under the sea kit from Beautiful Planning, of course, which is very much a Little Mermaid inspired kit. And I love this art so much. I like this kit as well. I've had this print and cut for maybe like three months, you guys. I am not even kidding. I've had it print and cut for so freaking long. And I planned on using this, I think in March, then April, and it literally kept getting pushed back and back and back. And finally I was like, okay, I am using it on this week of the 22nd. I am not gonna change it and push it back anymore. Um, I'm gonna force myself to use this kit. It's just like, you know, I don't know. Do you guys ever change your mind whenever you pre-plan kits? I try to pre-plan kits. I don't know why that's like a tongue twister for me. As like far out in advance as possible. Let me move my phone over here as like far out in advance as possible but stephanie releases so many good stuff and then i end up changing my mind and then kits get pushed back but since i do print and cut the kits i will never be like ah i'm not going to use it because then i feel like that's wasting you know ink and paper so sometimes i just won't end up using like kits that i really want to use just because i already have stuff you know like already print and cut but anyways i'm excited that i'm finally using this kit there's no rhyme or reason to using this kit, honestly, other than I like the art and I love Disney and things like that. And I just thought it was really cute. So that's that's really the only reason. But um, yeah, I'm excited to be using a Disney kit. I haven't used any Disney, wait, really? I haven't used any? I haven't, I'm trying to think. Oh, no, 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 I used a Toy Story kit. So is that the only Disney themed? That's the only Disney themed kit I've used is the Toy Story one, which was um, by Scribble Prince Co. So this is the second like Disney themed kit I have used. So I'm glad that I get to finally bust one out and use one. I feel like there's been so many Disney kits coming out this year, but I also feel like it's because Disney is releasing so many movies, so which I ain't mad about. So I feel like because of that, a lot of shops are coming out with Disney or I should say a lot of artists are drawing Disney themed. I gotta get my eraser out one second here. Um, a lot of artists are, you know, drawing Disney related stuff, which I personally love, which I'm currently filming this. It's Saturday at one o'clock in the afternoon, which is crazy. My daughter was complaining of a headache, which sometimes I don't know because sometimes she can be like a little bit, she's four by the way. Um, I guess dr is dramatic the word, but I feel like, you know, if she doesn't want to do something, she'll say, oh, my head hurts or my tummy hurts. Like she'll say something to basically get out of doing something. So sometimes it's hard to tell, like, is something really wrong with her or is she just saying that, you know? So I was trying to talk to her earlier, like around, it was like around noon. And I was like, are, do you really have a headache? I'm like, because you know, she said it a couple of times before too, where like she has a headache. I actually wanted to put this here and now I don't know if I want to. So I realized like this kind of matches the bottom of the bottom washi. I have this pre-planned for quite a while. Um, the fork was gonna go there. I guess the key could go here and I can move this right here, right? Now, nah, whatever, I'm just gonna put this here, honestly. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so anyways, um, you know, like I told her, I'm like, you know, if you keep saying like stuff is hurting you and bothering you, Mommy's gonna have to take you to the doctor because I wanna make sure you're okay. I mean, obviously, you know? And she got so mad at me. She like came, like got off the couch and went into her bedroom and shut the door. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna give her a few minutes and then I'm gonna go in her room and check on her. So I gave her a few minutes um, and I was talking to my husband and he's like, yeah, he's like, maybe we should take her to the doctor anyways, just to make sure. So um, just because, you know, we don't want anything to be wrong with her, but I don't think anything is. I just think, you know, that she just says stuff to get out of things. However, I am currently sick. Like, I don't know if you can tell by my voice or not. Um, I had a fever on Wednesday. No, fever on Thursday and like a sore throat. And I've just like been trying to fight everything off. So she could be, you know, have a headache and could possibly be getting what I had, which I hope she doesn't. But I don't know, I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on her and just wait and see what happens. 
But after I got done talking to my husband, I went into her room to check on her and I found her asleep. And she just looks so cute and peaceful with her chubby little cheeks and she was all snoring and stuff. So anyways, I figured, you know what? I honestly have nothing to do like at this moment. Well, that I can think of anyways. So I, was, I wanted to film today anyways, cause it's Saturday. I was like, so you know what? If I can get a jump start and film, that way I don't have to be up later tonight and film, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So here we are. But anyways, yeah, I don't really think anything's wrong with her. Um, like seriously wrong. You know, I think if she does have a headache, maybe it's because she's probably getting what I'm having, which I really hope she doesn't. But we shall see. We definitely don't need any more. Oh, issues with anything. I just feel like the past week or so, it's just, well, past two weeks now, because of last week and now this week, it's just been something after the other. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I don't even know how I got sick, honestly. I'm still like trying to figure that one out. Like it's just a Wednesday night, all of a sudden, while we were having dinner, I just started getting a sore throat and I was like, dang, why am I getting a sore throat? And I'm like, maybe it's nothing. And then it just progressively like got so worse where it was really hard to swallow. And I was like, shit. I was like, I know I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and I'm gonna feel like, I shouldn't really say this because obviously this was, happened to my husband, but I felt like a car hit me. Like, you know, like, I don't know. I think you guys ever say that expression. But my husband's like, yeah, well, I know what it fairly feels like to have a car hit you. And I'm like, I know, I shouldn't have said that. I'm so sorry. Because he asked me, he's like, how are you feeling? And I was like, oh, I feel like a car hit me. And he's like, really? And I was like, oh my God, I didn't even mean to say that. Like, you know, I just said it without really thinking. But, oh. But anyways, um, I'm hoping to feel better soon and just kick this thing to the curb. Like, I know... Last week, Monday, I actually had a sore throat, but I was able to get rid of my sore throat rather quickly. So I don't know if this is the same thing trying to creep back up and it finally got a hold of me, but I don't know. I'm mean, like trying to wrap my head around too. Like how in the hell did I get sick? Because I mean, I was with my husband and my daughter all day Wednesday. Like we all were together, you know, this, we went to the same place. We all ate the same exact food. So it's like, how did I wind up with a sore throat and a fever? But honestly, if it had to be between any one of us to get a sore throat and a fever, I would choose me because my husband's still in a lot of pain. He's still recovering. Glitter headers look, I don't know, off, but maybe that's just my eyes. But you know, he's still in a lot of pain and recovering from, you know, being hit by a car. So, you know, I obviously don't want him to have, you know, the physical, because he's still in a lot of pain. Um, so I don't want him to obviously have the physical pain plus, you know, sickness and pain with that. So I don't want that for him. And then also, I, I mean, who wants their child to be sick? So anyway, so I'm glad it was me out of the three of us that got sick, but I still would like to know how in the hell this happened. So I don't know. We shall see. Um, I don't think I need to erase those pencil marks because I think these boxes are, yeah, they're dark enough. Um, so anyways, also too, I know last week, well, did I talk about this last week? I think I did, that I was waiting to find out if I was going to be pregnant or not and the whole two week wait. If you watch my vlogs and you already know the answer, but I am not pregnant. I actually got, of course, I got my period the same day that I got my fever and my sore throat. So on Thursday. So Thursday was just a lovely day. Just, you know, fever, sore throat, period. Just awesome time. What is this line? Damn it, I don't know what that is. It's gonna drive me nuts. So anyways, um, I am not pregnant, but um, I'm doing okay. I'm not like extremely upset about it or anything, honestly. I was just relieved to finally know because it was, my period was two days late. So I am just happy, you know, that I now have an answer that I am not pregnant and I am on my period and, you know, now I can go pick up my prescription and I can just start Clomid on my cycle day five, which actually happens to be Monday, Monday here, the day that you guys are watching this. Well, if you're watching it on Monday. So, and I even took a, which I guess probably sounds stupid that I took a pregnancy test, but I had a dream last night that I took a pregnancy test and it was positive. And my period is really light. It's been extremely light, which I'm not complaining about whatsoever, but what in the hell is that? I just knocked something off my desk. I don't think it's anything important. I'll figure it out later. 
But, and I've also heard about people, you know, who say that they think they get their period and then they find out that it's really not, and you know, they find out that they really are pregnant. So I was, you know, thinking that, that okay, well maybe I think this is my period and because it's so light, maybe it's not, maybe I am pregnant. So, you know, just to be safe before I go down to Target and pick up my prescription, spend the money, I was like, let me just take another pregnancy test just to see a negative one more time. You know, I only took four pregnancy tests this week, so what's another pregnancy test? So anyways, yeah, I ended up taking another one and it did say negative, so I'm gonna go probably today or tomorrow to pick, I mean, as long as I go before Monday um, and to pick up my prescription. I love the way that this looks. This looks super cute. So, <clears throat> anyways, that is the update with that. But this past week, honestly, and I really haven't, I actually did all of the filling out that you guys see, I actually filled out today. So I've been like really like just so behind in filling out my planner. And I mean, I'm still behind, as you can tell. I mean, I have all of the notes written down, but I just haven't really filled anything out. I don't know why. I'm just kind of like lit about everything. But, I mean, this week, really, not a lot has happened. Why can I not peel this up? Come here, please. Oh, my God. This is when I cut this, and my... I remember I was complaining about this a lot, that my mat wasn't... Or, like, it was, I couldn't tell if it was my, like, paper or my blade or my mat. It was just, like, so many different things that I was, like, trying to figure out because it kept cutting all of my stickers like this how it's not like kiss cut, you know, like a perfect kiss cut. So anyways, yeah, I've had this print cut for a long time. All right, I finally got it off. Oof, and I am sweating, it is hot. I turn off my AC because it makes a loud noise in the background of the videos, so I'm trying to get through this as fast as I can because it is hot. You know, it's the middle of the afternoon, probably not the smartest idea, but Hopefully, I don't have a lot going on this week, so hopefully this will go by fast. If I can get the stickers off the dang paper. Oh my lord. Come to mommy, please, thank you. But yeah, I was gonna say, this past week, I wish I had something, or actually it's the current week for me, but I guess past week. I really didn't have a lot happen or a lot go on. Um, like I said, I guess the most exciting thing was <laughs> So my camera cut out on me and honestly, I don't know where it cut out. Um, I hope you guys saw everything. I mean, I literally just put down my base and then I started working on my sidebar. I feel like you guys didn't miss a lot. I didn't like, didn't say anything of importance or excitement to be honest, so um, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just finishing off the sidebar here with my checklist. And yeah, oh, actually I need to zoom this out a little bit. Whoops, wrong way, Brittany. But yeah, so that is the base. I am going to use, of course, a weekend banner. I'm going to use a, what do you even call it? Why can't I think, what is that word? Foil, I'm gonna use a foil one and I'm gonna do gold because I just feel like gold is gonna look best with this kit. So let me just try to get this off the page without ripping it. Oh, there we go. I'm so sorry, you guys, if I sound just so blah and not full of energy. I just honestly kind of, that's just how I feel. I just feel very blah and not really so full of energy. So let me get this down, hopefully. I swear, does anybody have to really concentrate to put like the weekend banner down? I have to seriously give my full attention to that because, whew. It is tricky, tricky. But all right, there is so far the base. And I love it. I think everything looks really cute. So now we can go ahead, zoom in, and go day by day. I have everything written down on a post-it note. I don't have a ton of stuff going on this week. So I feel like this should go by relatively fast. So for Monday, um, I have this video. Good old plan with me. I also have a bill due. And then, what else? Mm, I guess really nothing. A bill due. Oh, uh, then I was gonna say, I knew there was something else. Oh my God. Oh, come on, sick Brittany, you can do it. Um, I, I start taking Clomid, hello. Um, so, 
Do I really want to use a half box though for taking Clomid? Not really, but that's all I have. And this other box that I have is for my daughter's swim lesson. So I guess I'll just use a half box for it. I mean, I guess it's a big deal. You know what? Let me switch this out then because, hold on you guys, sorry. Let me pull you all up. So I have bill due Monday and Wednesday. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna move this here to Wednesday and then Monday. However, Monday's bill is already paid, but I still just like to mark everything. Um, and then I will put the yellow. I hope I have everything, because like I said, I've had this print and cut for a long time. So fingers crossed I have everything I need, but if not, I'll just go and back plan it. So plan with me, and then like I said, I start Clomid on this day. I just don't really like, how did I, did I use a half box last time? Sorry guys, I gotta rewind here. Mm. Do I even know where it was? Where is it? Oh yeah, I did use a half box. Okay, fine, I'll use a half box. Um, I just feel like, yeah, that's gonna take up a lot of space. Okay, so that's just gonna take up the whole day. And we're gonna just accept that and be okay with that. So I'm gonna go ahead, put that down, and then I'm gonna put in, can I in frame? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the little girl. I'm gonna move this down. Actually, there we go. Move that down there. That way it's not so many gaps and spaces. I feel like this is crooked now too. Okay, and then also Monday, I think my in-laws are coming into town this day, but I'm not 100% sure. I think they're leaving Sunday night, the 21st. They were supposed to actually leave on Friday to drive out here to visit, but they ended up pushing it back. So I don't think they're leaving until Sunday. So if they leave Sunday night, I think they would arrive Monday, but I don't want to mark it just because I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, my palm is itching. I hope that means money is coming to me because mama needs it. Um, but all right, anyways, moving on to Tuesday. Um, I don't have anything. So Wednesday, I just have two things, which I already put down, the bill due, and then it is my mom's birthday. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that, and I'm just gonna put, my in frame? Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the balloon stickers right here to mark her birthday, and I mailed out her birthday card today, so hopefully that gets to her on time for Wednesday. Dang, my hand is like really itching. All right. Um, then Thursday, my daughter does have swim lessons. So I wanna mark that, and I have a really cute way to mark it this week, which I'm actually really excited about because I've had these stickers. Stephanie, actually. Stephanie, who is the shop owner of Beautiful Planning. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but if you wanna get your hands on this kit, it is still in her shop, and if you wanna get your hands on anything of hers, you can use my coupon code Brittany15. It'll save you 15% off. So, you're welcome. But, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna put this up here. How, I feel like, I don't know why, like I can't think. I just feel like every time I mark in swim lessons, I either have to like move it because a lot happens in the morning beforehand or nothing happens, but I'll just, I'll just put it in the morning, whatever. Um, I guess it's not that big of a deal. I just hope I don't have to move it. Like I had to move this week's actually, and I still don't know how I'm gonna mark it in there. But anyway, so this is for swim lessons and I have this cute little, if this is gonna focus, isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It looks like Ariel with flounder, and ugh, I was like, yes, perfect. Because I've had these stickers, like I said, for a bit, but I haven't been able to use them. And I'm gonna have it a little bit overlap the glitter header, but surprisingly, I am okay with that. And I'm having a blank right now. Who made the, oh, it's from Woola Walla Co. So this is the sheet here. So I figure anything with swimming, I can use to like mark this. So if we go to the pool or anything like that, I can use these. And I just think they're so cute. Oh, that's so cute. It's called Little Girl Maid. Because, oh yeah, because the little, 
I don't even know what animal that is. Is that a unicorn? It's called Gertie, like Gertie Gals. I don't know like too much about this shop, but um, my friend Stephanie, like I said, the shop owner of Beautiful Planning gave this to me. So thanks Stephanie and I'm so excited I finally got to use it because it's so freaking cute. Perfect way to mark swim lessons. So moving on because I'm rambling. Um, Friday, I'm going to upload my Scentsy video. I didn't upload one this week. I fully planned on it, but then I got sick on Thursday. So that was out the window. And this is crooked again. Let's see if I can fix this. Uh, okay, maybe it's just the sticker. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'm gonna try to get up the August video, the August set and warmer of the month for Friday. So that'll be Friday's video. And then I don't have anything else Saturday or Sunday as far as pre-plans go. So wow, that is everything. Like I told you guys, I don't have a lot going on this week, so, which is kind of nice. I don't know, it has its pros and its cons, I guess. But now we can go ahead and start working on the deco. And I really hope, oh my God, this deco is gonna be a pain in the ass to get up, isn't it? Of course I was gonna say, I hope this deco isn't gonna be hard to pick up. And it is, of course. <laughs> oh my gosh. gonna say I usually do this on camera but I might actually n not do this on camera if it's gonna be this difficult because I have a feeling I'm gonna scream through the frustration okay I got that up Whew. um I think I'm gonna put this maybe I'll put this one here Man, that little dog is like barking like a maniac outside I don't know if you guys can hear it but anyways Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I feel like I am so boring today, but I just feel, I don't feel the best, but at the same time, I really wanted to take this chance to film this video, especially when my daughter's sleeping, and if that's that one less thing I have to do tonight, even better. <clears throat> and I didn't want to miss a plan with me either, so. Here we are. I'm pushing through, and hopefully, oh. I'll be better soon. But I'm definitely glad if I'm gonna get sick that I got sick, you know, this week here because that gives me one, it gives me like two weeks to get better because, oh my God, that's so crazy. Like basically in a week and a half is gonna be this Cripple Prince co-party. So yeah, if I'm gonna get sick, let me get sick now so I can hurry up and get over it because I don't wanna be sick for the party. You know, I wanna be able to go to the party. So mama ain't trying to miss that. So let's get it over with. Let's get it done. But I'm so excited for the planner party. If you guys are going to the planner party, definitely comment down below and let me know. I have never been to any type of planner party or event. So I'm really excited um, to go and to see people and meet people. You know, see my friend Kirsten, obviously, but then also, you know, meet new people. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So. I mean, that's what these events are about after all anyways. It's just meeting new people and making new friends. And I just think it'd be really cool. Um, and I feel like it's going to be a pretty big party. 350 people, I believe, are going. So I feel like that's a pretty big event. So I'm really excited for it. So yeah, if you're going, definitely let me know. Um, I'm going by myself. My husband and my daughter are going but they aren't going to the party, if that makes sense. Like they're gonna go to Austin with me, but they're not gonna go to the party. So they'll just be chilling, doing whatever they feel like doing. So anyways, Ugh, but oh, come on sticker, don't do this to me. Okay, I'm gonna come back to you later because I don't feel like messing with you. Oh man. Yeah, all of this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Lord, none of this is gonna pull up easy for me. <sighs> God, it's like seriously, why? Why do you have to be so difficult? Where do I wanna put this? Oh, I kinda like it right there, it's fine right there. What about King Triton's little, what is this called? Is it called a Triton? I don't even know. Pitchfork? Oh, come on. 
I really want to get all this done before my daughter wakes up. I, like I said, she doesn't, well, I don't even know if I said this, but she doesn't really nap anymore. So I just don't want her to, okay, I'm gonna have to move this little seahorse. I don't know how long she's gonna nap for, so I'm just want to try to get this done before she does wake up. Oh, there we go. That looks cute. So, of course, come on, thank you. Oh my God, and Wiggles is snoring so loud, but would it be a plan with me if she wasn't snoring so loud? Oh, and my phone is ringing. Okay, you guys, you know what? Let me finish the deco. I gotta take this call. I'll be back to show you the like final bit. Okay, I am back and the deco is done. I'm glad I did it off camera because honestly, I was struggling with it to like get the, the placement looking good. And also too, my daughter did wake up. So I just got her back down. Um, well, I was holding her for a little bit and then she said she wanted to go back to sleep. So I laid her back down and tucked her back in. So I don't know if she is gonna fall back asleep or not, but we shall see. Um, but anyways, yeah, I figured, you know what? I'll do the foiled bit here on camera with you guys, just because you didn't really get to see the deco placement. But anyways, oh, these are from Simply Watercolor Co. This has been like my new favorite thing to do is just to add this little foiled deco bits. I don't even know really what it's called, but I just say that they're deco bits. But I just really like the way that it looks at the top with the deco. I feel like it adds a little bit more deco to the top and then also too it adds in a little bit more foil because you guys know I don't use a ton of foil in my spread so it can add a little bit more shine to it and I am all about it. So this has definitely been one of my new favorite things doing is adding this to the deco and I just think it makes all the difference. I really like the way that it comes out whenever I do it. Uh, what shape was that that I was using? Um, is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. There's different shapes on this page, so I got confused for a tiny bit, and that dog is still barking. What is going on? But I guess that's just what dogs, whoa, where did it go? Here it is. I guess that's just what dogs do. But anyways, sorry, I feel like I wanted to tell you guys something, and now I totally forgot what I wanted to talk about. I just, that's what I hate when you're sick. I feel like, well, for me anyways, when I'm sick, my brain is just literally all over the place and I cannot get like one thought together, like at all whatsoever. So, and I'm sure you guys can tell in this video that I am just a big blubbery mess, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it anyways. But okay, I think, I think that's good. I feel like I need one like up here. The only other thing too is I can go a little bit overboard with these little deco bits, but I can't help myself. I really like them. But okay, I'm gonna force myself to stop. So anyways, that is all that I have for this plan with, see, look at that. Look at that little shine, shine, shine up at the top. Doesn't it just look so much better? I think so. Anyways, but that is all that I have for this plan with me. Again, if you wanna get your hands on this kit or anything from Beautiful Planning, you can use my coupon code Brittany15. That'll save you 15% off, no minimum. I will have the direct link to this printable and the shop. I will, or no, the direct link to this printable and the description box. Wow, I can't talk, as we already know. Um, I'll also link, what do I have? Oh, this is a Ramona and Friends sticker here, the pills. I will link her shop in the description box. It's a printable character shop. So if you like printables, you'll probably like her. I'll link her down below. I think she has a 15% off coupon too. I will link down below. And then Willa Walla Co. I will link as well. And then the foiled bits, the Simply Watercolor Co. I will link them in the description as well. So I'll link everything for you guys that way in case you wanna check anything out for yourself. Future Brittany here. Actually, it's past Brittany though when you guys watch this because it's Sunday. So it's the next day Sunday. Um, and I'm editing my plan with me and I totally realized while editing, I forgot to put down a countdown. Actually, I forgot to grab it out too. Let me grab it real quick. Um, so for the SPC party, um, next week I'm obviously using the planner party kit. And um, Andrea, high text messages, did give us a countdown. 
and she, which is genius of her and so awesome of her too, she gave it to us in gold and in silver, so hopefully you guys can see that. So it says seven days until SPC party and six days till SPC party. Obviously that needs to go on Saturday and Sunday. I think I said this in the video like, oh, the planner party is next week, but it didn't dawn on me to use the countdowns. So I obviously want to use the seven and the six for Saturday and Sunday, but I don't know where to put them just because the weekend banner, so I can't put it down in the bottom of the bottom washi like I typically do. I was thinking maybe put it on top of the castle, so like seven and six because it's like a scene box, so it actually would look good there. Um, I think just on white paper would look bad. Uh, well, not look bad. It would look okay, but I feel like it would just need a little something more. So I have two questions. Where should I put the countdown? Should I put it up here in the double box, the seven and six, or should I print out washi um, from the kit and then put it behind washi like at the top or something like that? So definitely comment down below and let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. So you won't see me actually put this down, but it will go down in here because I forgot. I don't know if there's any of you guys watching that was like, oh my God, she forgot her SPC countdown. And I did. But um, anyways, yeah, also update on my daughter who is sitting on my lap. After she woke up from her second nap, she had a fever and she threw up like four times. Oh, so it was a very long day yesterday. So of course I felt bad because I was like talking earlier and I was like, I don't know if she's just being like dramatic because she doesn't want to do something or if she really is getting sick. So, of course, you know, I'm having that mom guilt right now because she did have a fever and she actually had a fever last night as well, like in the middle of the night. I took my medicine. Yeah, you took your medicine, that's right. So, um, she doesn't have a fever anymore. Hi! <laughs> Just a little hands. Um, so she doesn't, you're saying hi? Hi. hi! So she doesn't have a fever anymore, thank God, but right now she's just saying that um, she just has a sore throat. So, anyways, that's the update with her, but I don't know. I just felt bad when I was editing. I was like, of course, I'm like, I don't know if she's being drama, and afterwards, you know, she did end up being really sick. My poor, poor baby. But all right, you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I just wanted to interject real quick and ask you guys, um, hi, the questions about the countdown and then also I guess give an update on my daughter because I was having some mom guilt while editing. So, all right, I will let- I know it's dying. Yeah, my camera's dying. So I will go ahead and let past Brittany take it over and end the video. But that is all that I have for this time with me. Again, sorry I was just so meh, but hopefully <laughs> I get better soon. That way I just won't be so blah. So I hope you guys did enjoy this plan with me. Please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.